Starring Out show. Robert Sarzo, I know you because I used to work for Striper. And really? Hurricane did a tour with Striper. Oh, we did many tours. Yeah. We did like 300 shows with them. We were label mates. Yeah. Yeah, Enigma, back in the day. A good old Enigma record. How did Enigma treat you, Robert? Enigma was great. They were good. You know, it's a good label that gave us uh, the freedom of uh, a creative. Uh, we were able to put whoever, create whatever in the uh, videos. Excellent, excellent label. And then we had EMI, you know, distribution. Yeah, so, that's true. So it's really uh, two of the best worlds. We had the big distribution, and then we had the freedom of doing whatever you want to do with the album. What, what would you say the highlight of your career in Hurricane was? Oh, I would say, well, there, there was many. One of them was turning on the radio and hearing the first song that I wrote with Tony Cavazzo. And I was in Miami, in Florida, on Ocean Boulevard, and I'm driving on a beautiful night, and there's a song playing on the radio. Yeah. You lived your dream. Are you still living that dream today? Well, I'm still doing it. I, I'm so busy. Uh, actually, right now, I just opened up a uh, internet store. Uh, being out with on tour with Queenstrike, everybody's asking me that they wanted to buy my Voodoo Man hat. And, you know, I would not sell it for any price. So anyway, this is the second version of the Voodoo Man hat that I actually sculpture and make myself. So you've become somewhat of a rock and roll fashion designer. I've always been a fashion designer. Oh my God, I wish I had more 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 time. But uh, the boots that Alice Cooper wore, million dollar billion dollar baby, the leper ones, uh -huh. I designed. The, the boot actually uh, back in Florida at Learners, I had the prototype and made that I wore. You know, back in the day in the 70s, there were red boots. I still have them. They're big platform uh, shoes. And I went to Learners, a little shop in Miami, and uh, I, I told the lady in Spanish, you know, I said, "Quiero que me haga una bota con la con el heel." I don't know how to say heel in Spanish anymore. That was a long time ago. But I wanted big, and they were like, "No, we can't do that." I said, "No, just glue two of them together, send them down." So they were huge. Like that, so I'm playing with the flying machine, and uh, we were house band there, my brother Rudy and I, uh, the flying machine in Philadelphia, and uh, this is like 1971, I think it was, or 72. And Squeeze, that not the, the Squeeze I made, but Roger, the drummer from Squeeze, knew Alice. And the flying machine was a place in Philadelphia, Florida. Everybody hung out there Alice Cooper, Jeff Beck, anybody that was in town, you know, touring. It was the only rocker place. And um, Alice uh, saw the boots that Roger was wearing, the leopard ones that I helped design, and loved them so much. Roger took it off and gave it to him. What is it like seeing Kelly Hansen singing for Foreigner? How does that How does that make you feel? I th it makes me feel good because that's where he belongs. When I first saw Kelly singing at a, a Top 40 place here in L.A., he was singing those songs. And that's why I wanted to have a melodic singer because everybody at the time, you know, everybody was like that screamer. I wanted to do more melodic bands when I formed Hurricane and uh, Kelly had the voice and I'm really happy for him. Why is it important for people to, to support Rock Against I MS? Everybody should be supporting us. Uh, it could hit anywhere. Uh, it, it's just something that has to be taken care of and it's got to start with the arts. It's got to start with everybody joining together and really, you know, we got to fight it. We got to, we got to figure it out. It's really you know important. Why? You and your brother are saints. Oh. So keep up the good work. God Thank bless you, you brother. You. You Have too. a good God one. Bless. The Blaring Out Show.